Hi guys, my name is Christian. Hopefully you are all doing well. So when I browse around different forums, when people are looking for a tube LDC for vocals and perhaps acoustic guitar, there are two style of microphones that are usually mentioned. The first one is the classic U47 style microphone and the other one is a 251 style microphone. So what do they sound like? Well, that's something that we are going to try to explore here today. And I've tried to boil down the different characteristics of both microphones. So let's start with that before we move on. A 251 style microphone usually have a very nice open top end. An intimate sound which makes you feel very close to the singer. It is very mix ready and need little to no EQ to sit in the mix. A U47 style microphone has a larger than life low end, thick low mids, cotton like mids which gives it a very warm tone but still has a nice open top end. The 251 is very detailed and is like a photograph, while the U47 is more like an oil painting, rich in color but less detailed. Alright, so hopefully that will give you a bit of an insight of what to expect, but it wouldn't be any fun without any examples. So I recorded uh, some vocals back to back, it's the same take. It's with my AML 1073 preamps, but I've kind of messed up with my uh, main example. The uh, microphones had only been on for about 10 minutes and I feel like the U47 did not have enough time to warm up. So in that example, the differences are quite small, but I also recorded an a cappella take of another song and in that example the differences are a lot more and perhaps a bit more of what you should expect comparing these two styles of microphones. But if you are interested you can check out my Golden Age Premier's GA47 XT review and test and also the GA251 review and test. That wouldn't give you a back-to-back -back comparison, but at least you'd get some more files that you can check out in your own DAW to perhaps give you some more guidance on what you'd expect from these two styles of microphones. And as always, I will be sharing the raw files, so feel free to download them and check them out in your own DAW. All right, so that's enough talking, let's uh, play some music. Okay, so here we have the files. We start off with the example, which is kind of a fail. Like I said in the beginning of uh, the video, the U47 microphone probably did not have time to warm up properly. I usually tend to have a tube microphone on for 30 minutes, but these were only on for about 10 minutes. But in the a cappella version, later on, you will definitely hear bigger differences. But we'll start off with the first example and move on to the a cappella.
a distant star I wish upon tonight to see you some more If only for a while to know you're there A breath away is not far to where you Okay, so let's move on to the next example, which is a an complete A-B comparison where we'll go back and forth between the two microphones. And we we'll start off with the EQ off. And uh, here you'll see on the top here is the U47 and on the bottom is the C12. So the U47 needs a lot more EQ, it's a lot thicker in the high bass, low mids, while the 251 is a lot more mix ready. But we'll start off without the EQs and then I'll activate them later on in the example. Well, I'm a man of many wishes. I hope my premonition misses. But what I really feel, my eyes won't let me hide. Cause they always start to cry. Cause this time could mean goodbye. Goodbye Well I'm a man of many wishes I hope my premonition misses But what I really feel My eyes won't let me hide Cause they all will start to cry Cause this time could mean goodbye. All right. And like I said in the beginning of the video, if you are interested, you can download both the a cappella and uh, the first example with the piano. And if you are interested in even more files, you have my GA47 XD test and review and the GA251 test and review. That will not be a back to back comparison, but at least you'll get some more files that you can check out. All right, so that was my little AB comparison. Hopefully that will give you some insights on how these two style of microphones sound like. Okay, so that is all for today's episode. If you like this kind of content, please hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And hopefully I'll see you around.